y'all this is dana welcome to my channel y'all i am back working with um some of scrap diva designs dies i am working today with the heart soap pump shaker die and this is one that she recently sent me this is the smaller version of it over here and then i am using the larger one here so and if you haven't seen my video on my amazon haul for yesterday where i picked these up oh my goodness these are fabulous i've i've I had 20 sets in each package. I've already went through them all. I've got to place another order for some more, but these are fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. I love it. Okay, so let's quickly work on setting, putting this together. So I've already cut out all the pieces, okay? So if you see here, this one right here um, cuts it like this, okay? So that's like an overlay. This one is like the piece for that cuts out just the edge, okay? This one cuts out the whole piece right here. Okay, it cuts out the background, and I'm going to use this one. The paper collection I'm using is called um, My Valentine. It's a Cartabella. I recently got it on um, frankgarcia.com. And so, anyway, so those are the pieces that I'm going to use. Plus, I've already cut out two of the hearts, okay? In this video, I'm also going to use the stamps that she sent me as well. These are Valentine stamps, so I'm going to use those. I am also using this bow die that she has sent me before. Um, so, this is it. I'm using the medium size because I thought it would need a cute little bow. So, I've already cut all my pieces out. So, I'll put that one to the side. And that one she sent me quite a long while ago. Um, but I thought I would just pull it out and use it. So, anyway, what I have done already is I've already cut out um, one of the extra pieces. And I also cut out some acetate, okay? Because I'm going to make the shaker part. I've also cut out two pieces of white foam. This is just craft foam. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get it glued down. And I'm just using my art glitter glue that I got from Amazon. I have a feeling this is going to go together fairly fast. Okay. I might flip this over and I'm going to put this right along the edge. I'm trying not to get too much glue up on that acetate now you don't have to put the acetate you could have put just directly this foam right down on that paper but i wanted to just kind of do it this way and it kind of makes my stuff shake around a little better okay so i'm going to let that dry i want to make sure it's right on where it needs to go and y'all have y'all seen the movie on amazon or not netflix dog gone with rob Lowe? i watched it it's so sweet it ended so nicely. I love it. <laughs> okay, got that there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another piece of acetate. And I'm going to gently put my glue on top of the white. Okay. And y'all, um, Last night when I posted the video that I needed your help, well, it's because a crafty friend sometimes needs help. And um, y'all, I think she has grown to over 800, so thank you so much. Oh, and you know what? Gosh, I forgot to do something, y'all. I forgot to add the sequins. Duh, Dina. Okay, so let's add the sequins really fast, and we'll probably have to add some more glue. So I'm going to use this right here. This is Paper Roses. And I probably got it from scrapbook.com. That's where I usually get all my cutesy little stuff here. And I'm just going to pour some in. That's good. And I don't think I'm going to add any more. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. And it's got different colors. And I like it. So I'm going to go with it. Okay, I'm going to put this on top. I think the glue was still good to go. Okay. Trying to try to get try not to let it smush too much. I don't want the glue to get all up in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the top piece, decorative piece, or this 
And this is just like a pink foiled paper. I got it from Michaels. Okay, and I'm just gonna put it on the top. I'm gonna let this sit. And I think this is where my magnets are gonna come in handy to hold it down. These magnets, y'all, have lots of uses, I promise you. Okay, I'm gonna move it over. Let's let it dry, okay? Let's let that dry. And I'm gonna put my pen on my glue bottle for a second. Okay, so let's work on the cute little bow. Now, this is what it looks like when you cut it, okay? You can make it where things roll forward. I like mine going backward, okay? And what I did is I just took my bone folder, kind of curled them up like this. And now I'm just gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna add some glue right here and bring these over. Okay, and keep going on the other three sides. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to add more glue. This side now I thought this paper was kind of cute. It's pretty and it's kind of Valentine-ish, but not Valentine-ish. I think it's just pretty. Look at that. So pretty. And then I'm going to add okay. Last one. Just like this. gonna be cute it's gonna be cute it's still a little bit not as pink uh, as I like but I like that it matches the background okay so now we've got a back piece and it's gonna go right back here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach this one and let's go ahead and just put it like this I'm gonna add that in the center Very cute. Okay, and then it has a piece that goes over it like this. And I'll go ahead and use that. I'm gonna add my glue. I wonder, maybe I'll add, no, I think I'll go ahead with the same color. And then I'll just kind of add, to flip that around. And there we go and then I think we need like a little jammy or something cutesy on here so I'm going to use I think I'll use this white maybe I need something bigger okay let me get something big so I have these so I think I'll try a pink one it's a little larger be fine and press that down okay very cute very cute you can add a lot more to it if you'd like okay let's see how this is looking so now I got my nice shaker here looks like it's all holding together I got a little glue still seeping out there but it will dry and it should dry clear so there's my shaker so now I'm just going to, I think I'm gonna add this one and then I'll add the decorative piece on the back, okay? So I'm gonna add some glue. Okay. 
This should not come apart with all the glue I've got on here. This one now. Okay. That. And now I'm going to add glue just around this side. Put my piece. Oh, look, I had hearts on that side. I wonder if I should have did that side. Um, let me decide. Oh, kind of like the hearts. No, I, you know what? I think I'll go with my original plan. Let's go with the plaid. Okay, you put that down. And how easy was that to put together? Look at that. Isn't that cute? So now you could add a cute little bow up here on the top. And then I thought I would add like a Valentine grading and use the little hearts that were included with the die set. So I'm gonna layer this up and I'm gonna decide how I want it. So I'm not gonna put that yet. Let's stamp this up really fast. So I'm gonna get my pan on my glue. And let me grab my stamp set. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Mini Misty um, to as my stamping platform. And here are the stamps. So put that over there. And let's just see. I haven't pulled these out yet, so let's see. I want to use I kind of like just the happy Valentine's Day I think I'll just go with that one so I'm going to grab this one off so what you need to do is you're going to let's see if it fits inside and it did. Okay. Pull that up. And I'm using some black scrapbook.com ink. Pretty much what I usually use. I think I need a little bit more ink on the Valentine word. Okay, let's give them a try. Passing it down. Lifting up, up. Oh, and look at that. It worked so nicely. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. We'll clean that up in a second. Love that. All her, all her stamps that she has sent me have really worked really, really well. Okay, so I've got two of these. And the reason I cut two is so it would be pink on the back as well. I'm just going to use my, get over here. Just going to use my glue and get these together. I'm giving my little valentine heart there time to dry okay and then I'm gonna add this I'm wondering if I should pop this up on some foam tape or if I should just glue it I'm thinking come back here thinking I might glue it. I'm going to add glue on the back. Okay. Kind of center this in the middle. Okay. 
use my magnet for a second. Hold that down to get my pin back on. Okay. I like that magnet. So I think that this would be darling off to the side. And then maybe with the bow, just like this. I want to be able to see the bow could be too big. Or maybe I'll put, nope. Maybe I will just put, you know, maybe I'll put it down like this. And then just put this here. I have to decide, or maybe, well, I like that bow. I'll just do it like this. I think that looks good. Okay, I'll add my glue. I've had people ask me about, um, where I got my glue gun. My glue gun is a Surebonder, and I got it on Surebonder.com. It's like less than $25, approximately. Here we go. I'm wondering if I should have put this up here like this, or like this. Oh yeah, like this. Then it won't cover up all the sequins. I like that. Let's go with it. So I'm gonna add, so it's a good thing I added some pink on the back. So then, so cute. When she asked me, when Erica asked me, like what would I wanna work with? And I told her, I think that soap pump, a soap pump dispenser is so cute. So look at that. Isn't that just darling? Add more bling to it if you want. Y'all know I'm a clean and simple crafter. I don't like adding too much stuff. You know, I really don't. I like it to be clean, simple, and, you know, you can do you, but I can, I like to definitely just add a couple little jimmies, and um, I like it to be simple. Now, sometimes simple is enough in my book. Nope, I don't like that there. There we go. So cute. I love this. This is a great die. It really was. You could even go farther. You could add more and more stuff to it. And it's just simply a fun die. It really is. Now also what you can do, and I wanted to tell you about this before I um, end this video, but also in the die set, it also comes with these little pieces like this and I believe you can cut this out and what it would do is it would wrap around the soap dispenser thing and hang down and that's where you could hang the heart but I chose not to use that part of the die but actually it's absolutely darling and you can use this not even on the soap dispenser you can use it for anything else anyway that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this helps you if you've recently got this die and we're trying to figure out how to put it together um, or if you're looking for a sweet have Valentine die, or it can be used for any time, actually. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget, if you are interested in purchasing this, I'm going to link it below. And don't forget to use that coupon code DINA10 for 10% off of your $10 or more purchase. Anyway, have a great day, y'all. Love you guys. Bye.